Hope everybody's doing great. We got another one for you, and this one's special. 1986 Ford Mustang GT. It's not really a GT. It's a GT Cobra. It's a Canadian spec car. They called them that in Canada. We got a bunch of complete documented history on this car and everything. But you know the drill. Come on, subscribe, like, share, comment, good or bad, every little bit helps. nineteen eighty six Mustang Cobra GT or Mustang GT Cobra. I forget how they name it in Canada. They put the Cobra either before or after. Sometimes they just call it a Mustang Cobra. Um, in the description there's a complete breakdown of what these cars are, why they call them Cobras, what the history is on them. Just read it read up and get yourself educated a little bit on it if you don't already know. This car here is just absolutely drop dead gorgeous. It's a one owner car. Unfortunately, the uh, the previous owner did pass away, and uh, this car came out of his collection uh, from his estate. It's had one repaint on it. It is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. The paint on the car is spectacular. Uh, just put a brand new set of tires on it. Now, when we got the car, the tires were good, but they were old. I mean, the date codes on them were old. So. At that point, we like to just put a brand new set of rubber on it before we sell it and send it down the road to the next owner. Car's never been hit, no accidents, all documented ownership history, paperwork, uh, Marty report, owner's manual, I think the window sticker's in there. Everything from new is, is uh, complete with this car. Drives like it's brand new. It's got about 150,000 kilometers, which is about 89,000 miles thereabouts. Um, you can do the conversion. Uh, speedometer, yes, is in kilometers. And here's the one thing that only tells you it was a Canadian Mustang GT. Right there. The, the Cobra decal. That's all they put on them. And I'll show you a little bit here in a, in a minute. When you start looking at the car, all the labels are both in English and French. Matter of fact, here's the uh, the engine data label it's on the hood. You can take a look at that. It's both uh, English and French. There you go. Same thing with the owner's manuals. It's all in uh, two different languages because they were a Canadian market, Canadian market. Uh, everything is also in French as well as English. Okay, so, arrow straight car. Not a door ding, chip ding, anything down either door or either side of the car. It's got an aftermarket set of window louvers. Tires are brand new, just put them on last week. All the lenses are good, all the lights work. Backup lights, headlights, tail lights, revert, everything. Flashers, everything all works. It's got a uh, off-road exhaust system on it, all stainless. Let's go down this side of the car. Arrow straight, no dents, no door dings, nothing like that. All the doors open and close nice. We'll open it up in a little bit and I'll go through it. The hood... As you see, normally would be like that matte black, a decal. That's been painted when they painted the car, and it looks spectacular. I think it looks better gloss than it does painted, but that's my opinion. Beautiful looking car all the way around. Windows roll up and down. They're power, power locks, tilt wheel, cruise control. Um, premium sound system in it. Everything works on the car. Air blows ice cold. Has been converted to 134A. Goes down the road straight and true, tight as a drum, no issues. Let's pop it open, and then of course, what are we gonna do? We are gonna go for a ride. Now that we got it open up, let's go through it a little bit. Doors open nicely, all the jams are clean, no issues on anything. Interior is excellent, carpet is excellent. Got a set of mats in it, mats are fine. Carpets, perfect seats, dash, no cracks in the dash, headliner, sunroof, all excellent, door panels, doors close nice. The back of the car here, um, I'm going to put some pictures in, the, uh, the, the cargo cover is there, 
premium sound system, original spare, jack, all that stuff is all back in there. Seats fold down. Matter of fact, the seats are folded down now. Um, and all that stuff is excellent. Let me pop a couple pictures in, take a look. So you can see how nice and clean the back of the car is. Passenger side, doors open nice. Door jams are excellent. Matter of fact, you look at the label, and I think part of that label is in French, and I'll show you the one from uh, under the hood. Door panels are excellent. Door jams, carpet, seats are excellent. Dash, uncut, everything works. Stereo, cassette player, the, uh, that, the, uh, the warning indicator down on the bottom, the clock, date, time, all that stuff works. Inside the car is beautiful. Just a couple of rags we had over there from wiping the car down. It's excellent. It's all in good shape. Minimal wear. Older gentleman on this car. Matter of fact, I believe he was in his 70s when he passed away. Um, so he bought this car if he was in his 70s, 86, knock off 40 years. Eh, the guy was in his 30s when he bought this car. Let's fire it up. Listen to it. Starts right up, as you can see. Excellent under the hood. Updated with aluminum radiator. Runs nice and cool. Brand new AC compressor. Converted to 134A. Everything's been done. It's got a set of BBK headers that were added some time ago. And a full off-road exhaust with stock turbo-style mufflers. It is not loud and obnoxious, as you can hear. It's actually pretty mellow. Even when you're going down a road, it's pretty mellow sounding. Let's shut the hood, jump in, and go for a drive. Idles nice, no issues. Just a good, good, good running 5.0. All right, let's go for a ride. Got the air on. It blows nice and cold. I don't know if you can hear it. All the gauges work. You can see the speedometers in, in kilometers. Everything works down here. Like the, uh, you push the button for the indicator and it tells you everything what's good and not. Everything's good. The clock works. Radio works. All the owner's books, all the paperwork, all the receipts, everything that this car came with pretty much from new and was always kept is included. Cruise control works, tilt wheel, intermittent wipers, power windows, power locks, power steering, Power disc brakes, sunroof car, transmission shifts perfect. Shifts right on the money, right where it should. And like every video I do for you guys, it's always three, four o'clock in the afternoon and I gotta deal with traffic. But that's actually not a bad thing because then uh, you get to, you know, have to use brakes and stuff like that. window up. with a brand new set of rubber on it. It drove pretty good with the tires that were on when I got it, but you could feel that they were hard and, you know, they they just, they, they you know, they were just old. I mean, they were almost 20 years old, so they had to go. I wasn't going to sell a car with 20-year-old tires on it. Uh, so I put a brand new set of tires on it. It's got new shocks all the way around. It's got new springs all the way around. It's got a nice, firm, crisp feel to it. Hasn't been lowered, but the springs, I think the springs are a little stiffer than stock. But it's got a nice feel on the road. Let's let this, uh, oh, all right, the car's gonna let us go. Stand on it a little bit. 
it. Gotta love the way a 5.0 sounds. All right, let's take it back to the shop and wrap it up. All the windows work. Oh, that Volkswagen? Yeah, it'll be for sale soon. Go up and down with no problems. AC works, all the gauges work. Really, really nice, well-preserved car. You don't find them like this too often. And there you go, 1986 Ford Mustang GT Cobra Canadian spec car. One owner, beautifully maintained, full paperwork, documents, ownership history, books, records, everything going back for the last 40 years. Great running car brought to you by rpmotorcars.com, rpmotorcars.com. Check out our website, see 40 to 50 pictures of this car, as well as complete description, and also telling a story about the Cobra Canadian Mustang GTs. Great car. Call us if you have any questions. We do take trades. Financing is available. And shipping nationwide and or worldwide is available. Thanks for tuning in. Share, like, subscribe. Tell us how we're doing. We appreciate every bit of feedback we can get. It's Friday afternoon here in Phoenix, a little over 100 degrees. Hope everybody's safe and secure where they are around the country. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Happy motoring.